In today's video, I'll show you how to set up your Unity project with AI Foundation and also make a quick build to make sure everything is set up correctly. So let's get started. All right, open up your Unity Hub and let's create a new project. I'm using the editor version 22.3.13 and I'm going to use the 3D Core Render Pack 9. Let's give our project a name. I'm going to call it as AR Demo and click on Create Project. And I will see you once that's done. Once you have your Unity project open, click on File, Build Settings. Click on Android and switch platform. Once that's done, close this window and now let's import all the packages that we need. For that, click on Windows Package Manager. Make sure that you've selected Unity Registry. And in here, you need to search for AR Foundation. We're going to install the version 5.1.1, which is the latest version right now. So click on Install. Now during installation, you'll receive a warning saying that a new input system is found and you'll have to restart the Unity Editor. Click on Yes. Okay, so the Unity FGL has restarted and here you can see that the AR Foundation has been successfully installed. Next, we need to search for Google AR Core XR plugin and install that as well. Now, if you're using iOS, then make sure to install the Apple's AR Kit XR plugin. All right, so with that, we have installed all the packages that we need. Next, let's see how to set up our project. To do that, you need to click on File, Build Settings, Player Settings. Make sure that you are on the Android tab. And here we're going to change the default company name. I'm going to write it as EV. Then here you need to uncheck Auto Graphics API. Right now Vulkan is not supported. So we need to get rid of that. We need to uncheck multi-thread rendering and scroll down and it will override packages name. And here we need to set the minimum API level to 24. Let us set the scripting back into IL to CPP and make sure to check ARM64. All right. So with that, we have set up everything. Now let's set up our scene. So the first thing to do here is to select the main camera and get rid of that. Next, right click on your hierarchy window, select XR and select XR origin mobile AR. Now this is going to add a game object called XR origin, which has a component XR origin. Now this component transforms the trackable features like uh, scanned planes and feature points into its final position, rotation and scale to a unity scene. Now when we open the child of this, we have an empty game object called camera offset. And then inside that we have the main camera. The main camera has a camera component which accesses the camera of your device and then it has a audio listener basically it acts like a microphone and then we have the ar camera manager so this component manages the features of your camera like autofocus and whether we want to have light estimation the direction of camera you would like to use so the world is the back camera and user is the front camera and the render mode can be before or after opaque and so that is something to do with the render pipeline so we can leave it at any so that it automatically chooses whatever is the best. Next, we have the AR camera background. Now, generally the camera feed is directly displayed onto your um, device's display. Now, for some reason, if you want to have the camera feed displayed on a render texture or a different material, you can make use of this. And finally, we have the track pose driver. Now, this keeps a track of the local position of your device. So, for example, you have an augmented reality cube and you have your phone moving around it. The track pose driver keeps a track of this phone's uh, transform and rotation so that it knows which side of the cube to render. Next, we need to add another component called as AR session. So right click on your hierarchy, select XR and select AR session. Now this has two more components. The first one is AR session. Now this controls the entire life cycle of your uh, AR experience. So this is responsible for enabling and disabling the AR core on your Android device. And then we have AR Input Manager. Now this keeps tracks of all the trackable game objects that are created. For example, if you have an image detection scene and you have uh, detected the image and an object is there on top of it. Now when you move your camera away, the image and the object is not seen anymore. But when you pan your camera back, the images and objects are there at the exact same place. So tracking all these kind of objects is done by the AR Input Manager. All right, so now to finish up the scene, let's go ahead and create a 3D cube. Let us scale this down to 0.3 in on the axis and move it slightly forward here like this. And let's save the scene. So with this, we have a sample scene set up. Now let's go and build it. So click on File, Build Settings, and then add the open scene. So make sure that you have the sample scene here. Next, go to Player Settings, select XR Plugin Management. And in the Android tab, make sure that you have the Google AR code checked. Now, if you're using it for iOS, make sure that you have the AR kit checked. And then you can go ahead and connect your device to your machine. And then from the devices, make sure to select your device. Click on build and run. Let's go ahead and create an empty folder called as 
bills and in here let's call this as first build and click on save once the application has been successfully built onto your device it's going to launch automatically and for the first time it's going to request permission to use your camera so let's go ahead and allow that and now you can see the cube floating in my room and as i move my camera i can see the different sides of it as well perfect so that's it for this video. Now, if you built your application and it worked exactly like mine, then you can call yourself a developer and a programmer already because it's a huge step. Now, if it does not work, then make sure that you're using the same version as I did and you're following the exact same steps. If it still does not work, then do let us know and we'll definitely help you with it. And as always, I will see you in the next one.